Welcome to Regan's Corner on this beautiful October Sunday here on Regan's Corner Sports Network. We got a big guest, multi-star athlete from South Central High School, Lillian Tolman. What's popping? What's good, Lillian? Oh, you know, <laughs> having fun. Absolutely. How did you kind of start with all these sports that you're going into your senior year here with golf, with basketball, with track? So how did you kind of all kind of blend in here? So I started my, well, I've been playing basketball since fourth grade. I've been playing AAU year round. So to play that in high school, it was kind of a given. Um, my freshman year, I played volleyball, and I just kind of didn't have the time to be as good as I wanted to be in volleyball and basketball. So I stopped playing volleyball after my freshman year. I also did track my freshman year. I have been doing track since we started in sixth grade I think it was just kind of something for me to do I I just like to stay active so I figured it would help me like stay in shape for basketball season and stuff and I enjoy doing my field event is pole vault and it's a lot of fun so that kind of kept me in it uh, my sophomore year like I said I didn't play volleyball but I did play basketball I did track and then last year my junior year like two weeks before the season started I decided uh you know what I'm gonna go out for golf and I just like tried new things and seeing like keeping my options open on what I'm what I could be good at and exploring stuff so yeah I played golf last year and then I'm in well I played golf this year Absolutely. So kind of talking about the golf season going into basketball here. So how did you kind of do in your season? Well, okay, this question is kind of hard to answer because our sectionals is this Friday. So I'll like know better after this Friday how that I would have, how I'll do. Um, but our main goal with golf is to have fun. We are still like really building our team. And this is our first year we've had more than uh, five girls. And last year I believe was the first year that we had five girls because my sophomore year it would have been, they just had four, which is enough for a team, but most teams have five and then you take the best four scores. So, this year we have more than five and it's been really nice. We're just trying to build a team and have fun uh, because it's really, this golf is so different from basketball and track because golf is just a sport that I can kind of take with me for my whole, through my whole life. So I'm just trying to learn the basics and what I need to know to have fun with it now and later. Absolutely. I like that. I like that a lot. And good luck with sectionals coming up. Uh, but let's get into the meat potatoes with the <laughs> basketball season coming up. So what are you th looking forward to in your senior year here after almost winning every single game last year and just falling short against Andrean last year? Well, Definitely that loss last year was really hard. Um, but last season, obviously, it doesn't mean anything for this season. Um, it's only only the future matters. And I think we have a good future for us this year. Um, we have two returning starters, me and Olivia Marks. So that kind of helps that we don't lose all of our starters so we kind of still have like a base it's not horrible because my sophomore to my junior year we didn't lose any starters so that was really kind of just like a continuation season kind of right. last year 
in a way. So this year is a little bit we're stepping out of our comfort zone, but I think that we still have – during summer ball, we still did really well. And we have some good freshmen coming up that they just need some court time, and I'm sure that they will get it. Um, but I think that they'll really be able to help our team this year. So they can have some roles to step into. <laughs> um, like I said, we still have um, the Welshes and the new freshman Welsh, McKenna, who's coming up. And we have, you know, the three Marxes and right. the new Sam Marx is coming up. And she's, I think Sam's going to be really good. I think she's going to be a great addition to our team. And especially on the defensive end. Um, it's going to be nice to have some help like on more on guards uh, because usually that's where I get like put. So it's nice. We're losing Abby, but I'm getting Sam to kind of help me out in that aspect. Absolutely. And you can kind of take her under your wing like Abby did with you, like Riley and stuff like that. Long as I mean, and plus what you've learned with your underclassmen and now being a senior, being one of the top dogs uh, mm -hmm. with one of <laughs> the best programs at South Central and the girls basketball and stuff like that. So with kind of the roster, you guys kind of had similar last year and stuff like that. Um, what can you get over that hump and win a regional semi-state and then even maybe even go to state this year in 2A? Uh, and stuff like that? Well, I think that a big difference that we're going to have this year is that we have really good ball movement. Um, so it just opens up the whole offensive end of the floor when, like, we have good ball movement. And um, there's a lot of not, like, one specific person has to play, like, one spot. Like, um Kate will probably be our number one spot, but if one of the posts gets a rebound and I'm right there, it's not like I'm. It has to go to Kate for her to bring her down the, to bring it down the floor, or even Olivia can bring it down the floor. Like anyone can bring it down the floor. Like we have a lot of versatility and like posts and shooting guards. It just depends on who's doing what good that day. So I think that's definitely going to help. I mean. We had some of that last year too, but we had more like specific, like fours, fives, threes, fours. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's it was more concrete, I guess. And this year, it's just take it and go. Like get down on the floor. We can all run. We have a good like fast break. Um. So yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. But let's get kind of back to your freshman year and stuff like that kind of what have you learned from the seniors when you were a freshman starting and kind of the six man or six woman kind of there on that team even in your career well i think one of the main things that i learned through the years is to just not be so nervous my freshman year i was like really nervous for the amount of basketball that I've played in my life. Um, I would just have like really bad anxiety and I've just like learned throughout the years, like everyone's going to airball a shot. Everyone's going to miss a layup. Like it's going to happen. You don't want it to, but it's inevitable. Everyone's going to let their person drive past them at some point. Like you just have to um, keep your head up and focus on the next play, focus on being a good teammate and not letting that one that one bad thing affect your next play, um, which I definitely think is something that I've learned from the upperclassmen through the years. Amber was really good at focusing on that. She'd always give you a pat on the back. Abby, too. Um, we're just always there to, like, pick you up, and I think that that's one of the main things that I've learned is just how to be, like, a good teammate and to do the same for others when someone else is having a bad game. Not a bad game, but a couple of bad plays in a row to just – uh, bring them up rather than to be like, you know, like, why would you do that? Because obviously they didn't want to do something right. bad. So it's just, I think that's one of the main things that I've learned is just to not, not let the bad things affect you as much and to just 
continue on a positive note. Absolutely. Kind of getting into that and stuff like that. Uh, great things to learn. So you can pass that down to marks and stuff like that, being a fellow guard. Uh, so at home, what are some aspects, even at your game, that you can improve for this year in your senior year and stuff like that? Well, I can definitely work on my range with shots. Um, I could also work on ball handling a bit. I feel like everyone can always work on ball handling. Um, yeah, I mean, I can continue to work on defense. My Your game never really, like, peaks. You can always be better. I can always be better at everything. But, yeah, mainly I would say shooting, like, behind the arc and ball handling. Absolutely. So what are some of the goals? I know you're still in the golf season, but kind of looking at, towards basketball a little bit, what are some of the goals for you, okay, and the team? Well, for our team, I would love to just um, start out the season strong. I want to be able to get up early in games so that we can – give the freshmen some experience on the varsity level because I'm not sure if we'll have a JV team yet this year, but the JV level is definitely a, a big step to the varsity level. So it would be nice to be able to get up early in games so that um, the J the freshman girls can kind of get in and get a taste of the, the varsity like aspect. Um, I would also love to get uh, round robin again this year and win PCC um, because this year if we win PCC then we retire the gold ball so that would be really exciting and just make it as far as we can in sectionals regionals semi-state I mean of course everyone wants to go to state that's the goal for everyone of course that's the goal for us but you know, I think that if we just build early in the season and try to continue to improve, then we'll reach as far as we can. Absolutely. And having Ben Anderson as your head coach again, a kind of stable ability, because I know Wes Booker was before he was there for your first two, three years, and then your principal comes in so what was kind of aspect of that kind of having somebody who's so high up in your school day being now your head coach well mr anderson is he's just a really nice guy and so um it's not like any of us were really like scared of him because he was our principal or whatever um, he's very personable. I'm never afraid to go and ask him, ask him questions or anything. Um, he, I feel like he takes stuff seriously, but not too seriously. I feel like sometimes coaches can take stuff too seriously and then it kind of gets like, you get so nervous to like make a mistake that you're already in your head about it. And I don't feel like Mr. Anderson is like that he said we're gonna make mistakes and he just tries to do it he does everything that he can for us he he is like a really OCD planner so we always know like at the beginning of the month even before the month even ends we already have the schedule for the next month everything is very organized um, like meals we always have snacks and meals and everything he always wants to make sure that we're doing team bonding and stuff. Um, I don't know. We do a lot of fun stuff. And it definitely, it wasn't, if anything, it was, like, nice to have our principal as the coach because we would know, like, when we, like, be on the bus ride home, he'd be like, oh, by the way, we're going to have a two-hour delay tomorrow. Like, if it's, <laughs> if it's, like, foggy out or something or if the weather was bad. So that was kind of nice for like when we get home late on game nights and I would know like, okay, if I need to finish my homework, I can wake up early if I'm really tired tonight or something like that. 
so yeah we kind of got an inside scoop on stuff and yeah it definitely wasn't like the typical my principals my coach like cookie cutter type of thing he he took us pretty far in the season so I think that is kind of telling of how he is as a coach <laughs> absolutely and you guys winning the Viking holiday tournament um just take us a little bit into that going against a Valpo a Shelbyville and being like you know we're just this little school from Union Mills Indiana and just be like hey we're here we're giant killers and you guys got to kind of recognize that a little bit kind of mentality there so do you guys take that into kind of equation again this year with the big doodling schools that you're going to play again well i think that it's just like important to play every team with the same amount of like seriousness and the same expectation you when you start expecting certain things out of teams they'll come out and do the exact opposite like when we were watching film towards the end of the year we would watch we would have tons of game film on a team and we would like study those things and then we'd come out and they would do the exact opposite so i mean it's not really like i guess like the size of the school per se like you just have to come out with every game with the winning mentality and know that you're gonna have to work hard to get where you want to be so um i guess it wouldn't be like per se like a small school versus a big school you just have to come out and show them what you're made of absolutely so before we go into our last segment and stuff like that what does the number 33 mean to you number 33 is definitely an important number to me um like previously stated it was my grandpa's number and obviously he means a lot to me he just shows a lot of like uh how to face like adversity how to work hard um he was just a very a very good man and he left an impact on a lot of people's lives like even now um like anywhere in New Carlisle, like someone will come up to me and be like, you look familiar. And they're like, what's your name? And I'm like, Lillian Tolman. And like, oh my God, I know your grandpa. He was such a good person. Like, blah, blah, blah. You're so lucky that you had him as a grandpa. And um, it just is a constant reminder of just to be a good person and to um, always work hard. People are always watching you. People always are wanting to know what you're up to and <laughs> that type of thing. Um, Riley Popwell, of course, was also a great example, great role model. Um, she's still playing overseas. Um, she was a great player, obviously. I watched her a lot because her and my sister play together. So I got to see Riley a lot. And she kind of shows also what, what you can achieve if you set your mind to something and work hard. And then also um, Amber Wolf wore 33, which I, Amber is probably, I watched her the most out of her and Riley. Um, I played for the, tra the same travel ball organization as Amber did for a long time. And I just, I always looked up to Amber. I mean, who wouldn't? <laughs> um, especially when I was a manager and I would watch practices. It was I could always learn stuff from her, learn different moves, moves to the basket, learn like how to be a leader on the court um, in different ways. So it definitely just like helps me remember what I'm out, what I'm playing for, and what I want to achieve. Absolutely, absolutely, absolute hot corner. Get to know you a little bit more, Lillian, um, and kind of see what you like and see what kind of things that you enjoy and stuff like that okay um let's see what is your favorite all-time snack um i really like um the dots pretzels um either like the honey mustard or the cajun 
so good so good yeah. always 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 just are amazing never let you down absolutely absolutely what is your favorite <laughs> sports mo sports movie of all time um okay, that one's hard no i'm not a big movie watcher but i have watched coach carter and that's a really good movie maybe make really you good you feel like that <laughs> absolutely what is your favorite subject in school let's see i would say my favorite subject is english um i've always just been kind of good at it and yeah just because i don't have to work as hard on it i guess <laughs> i'm taking calculus right now and it's horrible i don't know why it's okay <laughs> i mean math was one of mine at south central too so um that was just bad but what is your favorite position on the basketball floor um that's hard i think it really depends on the game um because when i first started basketball in fourth grade i was a post player so obviously that's a lot since from then to now uh but sometimes i do still get put as the post player and i have a lot of fun with that from time to time uh depending on who we're playing but um I don't know. I like being point guard because I like to be able to uh, kind of like see like quick openings and stuff, maybe like down the floor. Um, but I don't really mind any of them. I like playing all of them, but. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what schools are you currently looking at? Um. So right now, I actually, gosh, there's a fly. Um, I haven't had a ton of time to look at all the schools that I want to yet, just because I had a really big, busy summer with 4-H and everything, but um, in AAU basketball. But I have looked at Anderson so, and... Okay, so what are some things some teams that you're kind of even looking through the basketball schedule as we speak that you're just kind of giddy to get to um well let's see hmm. kind of hard i'm kind of the person who uh doesn't look ahead that much i'll know like who we're playing like a few days before because I don't again I don't like to play anyone like different than another really but um let's see I think I mean there's no one I'm like in particular like excited to like play I mean I know that when we play couch it's gonna be a big deal and there's always a lot of like arguing during counts games from fans and stuff. So sometimes that's funny. Um, but I don't know. I think that our game against Morgan might be good this year. Uh, and both those games should be at home, I believe. So yeah, we have a lot of home games this year, which is nice, especially for homework. <laughs> um, and yeah. Yeah, we even got a new white uniform because of how much we're going to be at home this year. So it's exciting. That is very exciting. You know what else is exciting? We're going to have at least half your season on Regan's Corner Sports Network. just didn't work out with my work schedule and stuff like that. But it's always nice having a fellow satellite on the broadcast here. Um, and stay in orbit, my friend.